Alright, well, I haven't put up any videos recently because nothing really has been happening recently, so I thought I'd just come on, it's quarter to three in the morning, for some reason I can't sleep, who knows, I don't know, get like that sometimes, you know, but uh, I thought it would be a good time to come on and tell the story about my throat cancer. Back in 2012, I was diagnosed with throat cancer. I had cancer of the tonsil. I had radiation and I had chemotherapy. I had a high dose of radiation, low doses of chemotherapy. So I didn't lose my hair, except for in the areas where the radiation was but the chemotherapy did not make me lose all my hair so i went through three months of radiation and chemotherapy and uh i didn't have the port put in for the chemotherapy and so they had to find a vein every time uh, but at the end, it was pretty hard for them to find a vein, but that's the route I chose, and that's the way I went. You know, you might be better off having the port. I really don't know. But when it comes to the radiation, it wasn't but a week, and everything begins to taste like garbage. T to me, it tasted burnt. It tasted like the bottom of a burnt spaghetti pan that's been through the dishwasher. Somebody served it to you. Anyways. Yeah, it was terrible. So, I had to have a uh, thing put a port with a tube coming out of my stomach where I fed myself uh, insurance water. That's what I lived on for like two months, insurance water. I lost 50 pounds. Everything tasted like garbage. I had stopped smoking. I had stopped drinking even water because it tasted like garbage. Nothing could go down my throat. I mean, nothing. I, nothing. Just nothing. Everything tasted like garbage. It's like burnt. Everything tasted burnt. Just like what apparently they're doing to you. So, anyways, insure and water for two months probably. Lost 50 pounds. Survived it all. And, um, was on my road to recovery. In the meantime, I took a bite out of a sandwich and my tooth broke off. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich and my tooth broke off. And, uh, some people, I guess, it, it destroys their teeth. Some people, it doesn't. But for me, my teeth were shot. That was the end of that. So, I had to go through a m month of hyperbarics, because if I didn't go through hyperbarics, if they tried to pull my teeth, they would have just shattered my jaw. So, I went through a month of hyperbarics, had all my teeth pulled. Now, I was supposed to get the pegs put in and all that, and, you know, I got, uh, I got upset at dentures, and, um, you know, they never quite felt right. They were okay for maybe three months or so, and then I'd have to have them adjusted. And and then for as for the pegs, it was so much more expensive to get the pegs. And so it just never all happened. And I am who I am, and, you know, it is what it is. And uh, so it's the least of my worries. Actually, I don't have a lot of worries, but even that's not one of them. So anyways... I get my teeth pulled, I'm back to work, and I'm working for a while, and um, suddenly in like 2019, I start having these spell, dizzy spells, and it got to the point where I passed out at work, and it was like, yeah, this can't happen, so that was pretty much it, I stopped working at that point, and went to the doctors, and they evaluated it all, and 
the radiation over time had just deteriorated. The whole, all of my carotid artery was just shot. Just 90% of it was just gone. I mean, I'm not talking about just a block. It was just gone. It just wasn't there, you know. And uh, so I got uh, surgery done. And uh, this is in 2020, the very beginning of 2020, right when COVID hit and all that nonsense. Here I am, I'm going into the hospital, right when COVID is hitting, I'm going into the hospital, getting my freaking neck slit, you know. <laughs> so so I go in and they, they figured they could grab from the clavicle down here or whatever it is, carotid artery, this artery down here along my collarbone, and they're going to bring it up and go in, up into my brain stem, so, or whatever. And so they get in, and they find out that even all the stuff down here in my shoulder area, all of that is all completely shot. All that artery area and all that is shot, too. They can't connect to it. There's nothing to connect to there, you know? Nothing sturdy enough, I guess. So what they ended up having to do was they went in and went to the, my right carotid artery here, and they brought it, a uh, fake artery, all the way around and brought it over and brought it right up into my brainstem. So that's, that's this side of my, my, this carotid artery keeps me alive, basically, you know. Um, should this side stop? That side stops. That's that. So I come home from the surgery from having that done, and uh, I'm sitting here in this chair I'm sitting in right now, and sure as hell, I had a stroke. Went blind in this eye here, and uh, everything that I saw in this eye was cir circular. Uh, everything. Everything looked like it was in a 1940s television. Everything I looked at was circular, and I couldn't see nothing out of this eye. Well, I immediately, um, actually at first I called my, my, um, girlfriend at the time and she immediately is like, you know, get your sorry ass up and get an aspirin immediately. So I did, I got up, I got an aspirin immediately and just the action of getting up clear, cleared up the, the blind spot. Uh, my vision was still a little fucked up, but at least that the action of standing up actually cleared the blind spot. But I went over and I took the aspirin and I stayed on my feet for a little while the rest of that night. And, uh, yeah, that was quite the experience. So, anyways, so this, this 2020 just started right here. And, uh, when I got out, um, that's when they really hit with the whole COVID thing. When I got out of this operation, uh, COVID was in full blow, and uh, I'm at work, and they want me to wear a mask, and it's like, you know what, I'm not wearing no mask, man, <laughs> you know, so then they're like, well, can you wear a face shield, it's like, you know what, I'll wear this face shield for one week, and then I'm out of here, I quit, so I got out, and I just went on disability, because that's it, you know, like, I, I, I was not about to put a face mask on, and um, with what I've gone through, no, nah, it just doesn't go over with me. You know, it's, we don't even want to go down that road with me. So never mind about that. That's, that's what happened with my cancer. That's what I'm sticking to is a cancer story here. So there is hope for people that have this, okay? Um, this is one thing you might want to think about, you know, when, if you have to go through this with throat cancer, your teeth is uh, one question, and um, the carotid artery is definitely a problem, because like I said, you know, this carotid artery is fine, and so far has kept me going, and still keeping me going, this one it was completely gone, and I was passing out and having an, all kinds of problems because of it, so it's pretty evident that, you know, the radiation destroyed that artery. So anyways, it is what it is, and uh, by the grace of God, I've lived through it all. I've got other parts of my story, but I've bored you enough for now, and um, God bless. Peace out.